Hello Gemini and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for October 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month's reading, I am using the Druid Craft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargom. Okay, my wonderful friends. Well, your moon cycles this month are full moon on the 13th. Full moons are things being revealed to you or you gaining some insight on a situation. And your new moon is on the 28th. New moons are perfect time for new projects, new starts, new beginnings. Okay, well, let's see what message Spirit has for you for the month of October. What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Straight away, Gemini, straight away. Okay, well, your first card is the Nine of Swords, followed by the Two of Cups, and followed by Major Arcana, number three, the Lady. Your first card is the Nine of Swords. This is... The card, I love, it's kind of the, uh, it's the stupid o'clock card where you are woken up at, at silly o'clock in the morning with negative thinking, negative thoughts, things that have been said to you, um, looks that people have given you, um, things that you have heard, things that you have seen, uh, racing through your mind at a million miles an hour. Um, Gemini, I want to say actually, as it's number nine, um, this is over for you. Um, this it's kind of, I feel like this is the old you. Um, this is how you used to be. Um, but you've been putting the practice in Gemini and you have uh, control of your thoughts now, I am hearing. Um, you're becoming masters of your mind. And it's coming because, um, and I'm looking because you are, you're wearing, um, or you've got a, a blue blanket over you. Um, and blue represents the colour of it's trust, it's loyalty, it's wisdom, it's peace, it's calm, it's tranquility, it's truth. So the master that you are now of these thoughts, you have con you, what you have done, Gemini, is instead of your thoughts having control of you, you now have control of your thoughts. You are trusting yourselves more. Uh, you are... You are trusting your own inner truth, Gemini, I am hearing. And, and blue also the colour of, of, of um, intelligence. So um, it, I really feel like you are really trusting in your own mind. It's not running away with you anymore. This is over. This is how you used to be. Now, when you wake up, you've got yourself... Um, a little saying, a little mantra, a sentence, um, anything, but you are have given yourself um, something to think about. You've been practicing this, so now when you wake up, you have happy thoughts, better ways of thinking. Oh, Gemini, next you have the two of cups. Um, two, the number of um, options, choices, relationships, um, and normally I would say the two of cups is, um, it, it's love, it's true love, um, and it is, but I feel it's for yourself. Um, this is a card of commitment. Um, these two people have made a commitment to each other, um, but I'm feeling that this is representing you and 
your inner you, <laughs> um, your higher self, and also the divine. Um, I feel like you are making a real commitment to yourself to make this change, to get control of your way of thinking, to master your mind rather than your mind mastering you. Um, I'm feeling a a commitment and it's coming from uh, I'm looking at these these um figures here uh, they're barefoot and they they're stood on um barefoot on the ground so you have been really grounding yourselves uh, again not getting carried away with negative thinking but rather you are now committed um committed to um this is committed to yourself i am hearing gemini oh, I, oh well you <laughs> you are the twins it's like i want to say you're committed to you and you <laughs> to both sides of of you to both sides of the coin um and and look at the characters here wearing green this is balance this is growth this is success the lady wearing purple um devotion you are devoted to yourself, putting more time and effort in to yourself, being committed to yourself, committed to making a change within yourself this month, Gemini. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and next we have Major Arcana. Number three the lady major arcana speak of your inner world your inner knowing your major inner knowledge um and so the inner you that i was speaking of here in the first two cards um is actually the energy of the lady uh, venus um love um Loving yourself enough to make this change, I am hearing. Uh, also, um, the lady, she represents fertility, fertile. Um, so this is seeds that you are now going to be sowing for your future, but it's a more fertile ground. That's why I'm seeing you here stood on this, this grass. Um, oh, it's kind of like you've raked... Um, You've raked over your soil, like your past, um, you've tilled your ground, you've raked over everything, you've sifted and sorted, you've got rid of anything that shouldn't be there, that's going to, you've kind of rooted out all the weeds, uh, and your ground is now nice and fertile, and you are growing now from, this is heart centre, this is love, this is venus energy this is you um being passionate about your life nurturing yourself um mothering yourselves i am hearing this is real healing that's been taking place for you um gemini i want to say congratulations my friends because you have come home to yourselves Ooh. <laughs> oh wow what a brilliant message for you, my friends. Okay. Well, let's see what colour is for you this month. The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Cigar. What is the message for my wonderful friends Gemini for the month of October? Thank you. You've been given two cards, my friends. Um, and before I go into the cards, I'm just being impulsed to um, to say with all of this green um, and talking about love and love of yourself of course green is your heart chakra your heart center so i feel like you've opened up um i'm having an image of a flower and the petals opening it's like you've opened up now and released uh let go of all of this low dense energy oh and look what's coming gemini <laughs> you have number 15 amber awaken your creativity 
and followed by gold number 21 attract abundance so you have awakening your creativity coming under this card so this is where you keep waking up at silly o'clock uh, amber coming along now to help you to change your thinking giving you some creative inspirational thinking okay and one and five adding up to six so helping to balance you harmonize you amber is a fantastic color for increasing your creativity and strengthening your manifestation abilities it generates deeper bonds in relationships and teaches you how to give and receive affection warmth optimism courage and spontaneity are among amber's gifts wear amber to awaken your creative talents and abilities <laughs> okay and next you have 21 gold two and one three three like the lady here three the number of the trinity thoughts words and actions all going in the same direction mind body and spirit all being authentic wow gold provides clarity in decision making attracting abundance expanding awareness and clearing the path to wisdom knowledge and joy strengthen all fields of the body and spirit with gold the strongest color for healing all illness but use it wisely to attract abundance focus on activating golden energy in the palms of your hands wow <laughs> you're being given the opportunity this month my friends to um to change the way you have been thinking to overcome negative thinking um moving away from um from bad times bad communications i am hearing uh, and moving into abundance and fertile times um and and sowing your seeds now from you are coming from a more heart centered place where there is a real commitment now um you have knowledge you making the change you've got your power back gemini this is wonderful <laughs> okay um uh, where to go now because you have had two cards there i think we'll go straight to wisdom of avalon colette baron reed <clears throat> Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so your card from Avalon is Truth, number 51, 5 and 1, adding up to 6. So, being honest and truthful with yourselves, my friends, and that's not this negative energy at all. Um, you're restoring your balance and harmony for sure this month as i look at this illustration it's a bridge um you're crossing this bridge and you are leaving all of this energy behind my friends this month and you are moving into better times uh more fertile times times of abundance because <sighs> you're being in your true nature letting your true selves come out okay <clears throat> Truth in a word and deed is what is required of you by drawing this marker. As well as resonating with your own personal truth, it's important now to also demand the same from others. In every person there's a vibrational energy that's accessible by slowing down and searching within to inquire, is this real? Am I hearing truth from another? Or is it a lie? Am I speaking honestly myself? Or am I lying to manipulate circumstances to get what I want? Remember, even a white lie will cause your light to fade and lose power. A lie takes you down into lower vibrations of the ego world, ruled by separation and limitation, and its seduction of the lower world, and serves no one but the forces of darkness. This marker reminds you to remain in the light. Even if it seems like a more difficult path, the truth will build a bridge across a chasm. 
Truth will lend a magic wand of strength and an integrity. Truth is freedom. And that's the blanket he's wearing here, my friends, the colour of blue. Truth, honesty, integrity. Wow, Gemini. <laughs> OK. <clears throat> Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's ask Ruby now, the kind red spirit. What does Gemini need to know? For the month of October 2019. What is the message for Gemini Ruby? What does Gemini need to know from the kind red spirit? Thank you. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> and Ruby has given you Beloved, prepare for your life partner. So, as I say, for some of you, this could be um, a relationship, a love. And as Venus is, is here moving in and Venus, we're definitely moving into Venus times. Um, this could be real love on the cards, um, but I'm feeling in general it's more... Um, loving yourselves enough now to really make a change, I am hearing. Um, so romance is returning to your relationship and believe you are lovable. So for those of you that are seeking love, be love. That's, this is heart chakra energy, heart center. If you come from a place of love, you attract love. Let me get the book out and I will read from the book for you, my friends. I'm really drawn to all the butterflies on this card, um, really making a change, helping you make a change and signifying um, that there is a change on the way. Your heart yearns to be re reunited with your beloved and enjoy a blissful, sacred relationship together. Or if you are already in a partnership, you may be craving a deepening romance, a connection that may have been lost over time or through challenging circumstances. This loving pair of unicorns want to reassure you that your joyful union or reconnection is coming soon. But there is some preparation to do. To receive your divine partner or reconnect with your current love, you must first love yourself deeply and know that you are lovable. Be honest about how you judge or dishonour yourself and then you will be willing to treat yourself with the love, care and nurture you want your beloved to hold you in. Making these shifts may mean embarking on a healing journey back into wholeness. Be courageous in releasing the core wounds in your heart that keep you from feeling worthy. Be willing to forgive previous partners and surrender your stories of hurt and heartache. Readily transform old beliefs and programming around love, relationships, marriage and sex. Be gentle with yourself and know that each old wound or belief you release brings you closer to your beloved or opens your heart to greater love. Allow romance to happen without hurrying it. Connect with your future love or current partner on a soul level and send them energy from your heart. Let them know you are doing the inner work to be ready for them or to deepen your journey together and share your dreams of the beautiful future you will have together. And as I say, this is maybe this is with a, a significant other, uh, but in general, I'm, I'm really feeling it's kind of it's you, your inner you, uh, you realizing that you do have an inner you that you are responsible for. Um, it, I feel like you're taking responsible for your actions now, um, being more honest and truthful with yourselves, um, stepping into your truth. I am hearing, uh, awakening your creativity, attracting abundance. Um, um, and passion uh, and love, love back into your lives this month, Gemini. What an absolutely 
beautiful, beautiful message for you, my friends. Well, thank you so much for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome, new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you, too, for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really enjoy receiving them. So do keep them coming. And I look forward to your feedback on this reading for sure. And so, Gemini, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful, and a truly blessed month. And until next month, my friends, goodbye.